Hello, everyone. Welcome to Developing Palettes. I'm Aaron Lewis coming to you from the Drew Estate Studio. With me today is June Lou, Seth Geist, John McTavish. How are you guys doing tonight? Doing well, man. Good, man. That's Happy Football good. Monday once again. That's right. Not so, for the Jets. <laughs> uh, I've got a knock-knock joke, joke for you, Seth. Knock-knock. Uh, no, 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 no. Okay, all right. Knock, knock. <laughs> knock, knock. Who's, this knock. Knock? Who's there? Owen. Owen who? Owen 7, baby. Owen 7. <laughs> Fire all right. Yeah, so, <coughs> so with all the Jets hate out of the way, uh, this uh, episode we're talking about the Camacho Nicaragua Robusto. Uh, Cigars Robusto 5x52 comes out of the uh, Diadema Cigars de Honduras factory in Honduras. Uh, Wrappers from Ecuador, binders from Honduras, filler is from Nicaragua, Honduras, and the Dominican Republic. Uh, price point is eight dollars and sixty cents. Uh, cigars released in July of two thousand twenty, and uh, we acquired these cigars from Havana Fills. Uh, so, for all your cigar needs in the southeast, make sure you check out Havana Fills. Uh, so, with all the info out of the way, June, what was your overall experience like with the cigar? Overall, um, I thought it was pretty average. Um, you know, fr from the beginning, I kind of thought like it had a lot of subtleties or too much subtleties. Some light nuttiness, uh, some cinnamon came through, uh, like some stale dried nuts. Uh, it, it's just one of those profiles that didn't really have much going for it since the beginning, you know. Um, you know, like I think I mentioned before, like, you know, when you smoke a cigar, you, you, you puff on that couple of initial two puffs and you're like oh this is gonna be average well this was exactly that but the uh <laughs> the, the uh construction was great that was that was uh one of the highlights for sure all right seth what were your overall thoughts on this one listen i thought this was well i was gonna say average but it's kind of i got a little excited for that i mean it's <laughs> uh, it's a little bit above average cigar um you know i was getting like these oak and bourbon flavors i don't know if anyone else picked up on these but like this oak bourbon leather sweet spices tobacco um it didn't have a lot of complexity throughout but it was it was pretty it was a pretty solid flavor profile it was kind of like this i don't know it had this old school profile to me um but really good 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 construction so it was an enjoyable cigar all right john what were your overall thoughts i, I thought it was pretty good and i, I like seth's characterization of old school profile because i think that's that's like it's kind of an old school nicaragua like back when people weren't just blending nicaraguan cigars to be overly powerful and i mean in general i'm a big fan of the whole camacho line i think they've done a great job of branding uh the camacho nicaragua is, is actually been one of the few i'd say one of the few cigars that's a sort of larger company main release that is probably a, a go-to for me uh and, and I thought the complexity was was pretty on point. It had lots of cocoa, uh, breadiness, wood, baking spices. Uh, and so the first and second third for me were were, were pretty good. And then uh, last third, I mean, it was enjoyable. Uh, There's some cream and baking spices and cedar and graham cracker. But it wasn't the same complexity as the first and second third. So I just rated it as average. As we talked about in the green room, construction, of course, was impeccable. And I find that to be the case with pretty much all Camachos. The draw is perfect. The burn is perfect. You never have an issue. So, you know, overall, there's, there's real no negative things to say about the cigar. It's a good experience. Aaron, walk us through your experience. Yeah, I thought the cigar had a nice start as well. I had a really nice level of spice that kind of balanced out the profile. Uh, moving into the second third, though, the uh, spice kind of faded out a little bit. Uh, the earth played a little, bit, a little bit of a larger role. So I uh, kind of dropped down to average, kind of maintain that level the rest of the way. Um, I was kind of digging what the first third was go what had going on. So I was hoping that was going to last longer, but it didn't really kind of pan out that way. Um, we'll talk about this later, but I just think with the uh, amount of Nicaraguan tobacco in the cigar to have it kind of named Nicaragua is a little bit of a head scratcher. But, um, you know, I think with the cigar uh, price point that it's offered at, um, I can see the cigar doing really well uh, for Camacho. Um, I probably wouldn't come to that to this very often but i could you know probably see the smoking this from time to time and as everybody else had mentioned the construction is absolutely perfect on this cigar all right let's get into the score let's start at the top with john at 6.82 i was next at 6.10 and then seth and june both gave it a 5.75 so john how that 6.82 match up for you i'm not gonna lie that seems really high to me <laughs> i have to take a look at that um is it really 6.82 that i didn't really think did? that was possible with a good, really good average kid 
but well, it's the perfect construction. Yeah. Yeah. I suppose uh, it's the perfect construction. Yeah. Cause I mean, I, I would have, uh, that seems high to me. I would have, I would have expected this to be in the low to mid sixes. Um, without that last third being good to me, this is a good cigar, but it's not, you know, as good as some of the other cigars we've had this year, or at least we're going to be talking about soon. So six, eight, two seems a little high to me. Yeah. My 6.1 matches up. Well, I mean, the flavor profile kind of matchup um, is pretty standard for a lot of cigars that I've been rating recently, you know, with a good first third and an average second and final third, but the, with the construction being perfect on the cigar, it kind of bumps it up just over that six mark. So kind of what gets it here. But um, I mean, it's uh, like um, with the construction level that it's at, you just have so much time to focus on the flavors. I don't know if that's a detractor to the cigar because you're not, you don't have to pay any other attention to the cigar it just goes. So I don't know. All right, Seth, 5.75. Listen, Junior and I gave it a 5.75. We've spoken. It is done. <laughs> it's just, done. that's what it is. No, I mean, it's, I love your comment about Camacho Nicaragua, and you're like, where's where's the Nicaragua aspect of yeah. it? So um, it's a pretty good blend. Um, I mean, really good construction. Um, I would have liked a little bit more complexity with it. Um, I would have also just liked a little bit more Nicaraguan tobacco in it. Um and Davidoff can do it, so I don't know why they just – well, Davidoff and Camacho can do it, so they should have just done it. Yeah. All right, Gene, 5.75. It's, it's average. Um, nothing really, you know, to it. Um, nothing really pull your attention. But, by the way, I think I know what you guys mean now when you say things like uh, uh, this is old school Nicaraguan. I think basically when you guys start saying old school anything – you're basically talking about a flavorless cigar. Because <laughs> so, you said the same shit with the uh, Yagua, right? When we reviewed that, you were like, yeah, this is also Connecticut. I was like, oh, okay. So something that's like really subtle, almost flavorless, um, you know, that's okay. And, can, and can, that's can I rebut nice that? I'm saying HA has great cigars because it burns great and uh, it draws amazing. You know what I mean? You got to get off the AJ thing, man. <laughs> I think I think it's just it's there's a, there's a dial, and I think that oftentimes too many people are setting the dial to nine for everything, and I think you can set the dial to four or five or six or seven. There's a, there's a, there's a broad range in there, and I think when you know when I talk about old school, what I'm saying is sometimes the classic old school blends are a little bit more refined, a little bit more elegant because they don't have, you know, pepper or baking spice or leather that's dialed to nine. And it's not that I don't enjoy that. It's just sometimes you go back and you're like, oh man, this blend is really harmonized well. It's amazing what you can do when you, when you actually can taste things. Yeah. So I see, so basically you're, uh, what I'm hearing is that you're essentially agreeing with me. So. Yeah. You're always right. And I'm always wrong. That's what I'm, that's no, I hear what I'm you. saying. I hear you. <laughs> All right, any other final thoughts about this Camacho Nicaragua? Yeah, if you don't think the piano finish on this box, you know, rates it one of the best-looking cigars in the industry, I mean, come on, man. Is it man. finished in Nicaragua? Because probably not. Probably not. <laughs> but, hey, we've had this conversation before about the name of the cigar or the country of origin, and all it, all it needs, the, the whole cigar could be from other countries as long as it's manufactured in that country. All the bloggers think that that's perfectly fine, so who yeah. am I to... Wait a minute. What, what what are we getting on about that one again? Are we talking about when you call a cigar something? But yeah, yeah, when it, when uh, it's an I mean, if it's a Nicaraguan cigar, it's from Nicaragua. It doesn't matter what the tobacco makeup is, as long as it's manufactured in that country. Oh yeah, there's some people <laughs> who think that. Listen, I, the best I, I Nicaraguan puro is not even made in Nicaragua. That's a fact. Where's it made, Seth? Not in Nicaragua. Miami. I, I I bet you could go back and forth between Miami and Dominican Republic. Absolutely. Yeah, 100%. Yep. All right. If you just catch this video on YouTube, be sure to subscribe to us. Plus, check out the full written review on the website, developmentpalace.com. Follow us on all the social media channels, and you can catch all of our review recaps on podcasts, so iTunes, Google Play, and Podbean. Thank you for tuning in. We'll catch you on the next one.